in the 18th century, there was a man called Gilbert West who he didn't like it that a lot of his friends were becoming Christians. So he decided that he would write a book to disprove the resurrection. Because if you can disprove the resurrection, you can disprove Christianity. So he started researching, he started writing the book. Halfway through the book, he met Jesus, so he wrote his book the other way round. I've got one of the original copies that he wrote in the 18th century. In the 19th century, there was a very famous atheist in America called Engelsoll. He didn't like it that Christianity was growing. He had a great friend who was a very famous general called General Lou Wallace. He said to his friend, Lou, you've got to help me out and let's damage Christianity, let's damage the church. Why don't you write a book to disprove the resurrection? So Lou Wallace began to write his book. Lou Wallace actually had a wife who was a Christian, so she was praying while he was writing. He got to chapter four, he met Jesus, so he wrote his book the other way around. His book is called Ben. Her. In the 20th century, there was a lawyer and a journalist called Frank Morrison. He decided that he would shatter Christianity and he would write, and the only way you can do that is to disprove the resurrection. So he's a journalist. He knows how to, you know, uh, research, but he's also a lawyer. He knows how to play around with the material. But. But he got so much evidence, halfway through the book, he met Jesus, so he wrote his book the other way round. His book is called, Who Moved the Stone? So if you're in a hurry to meet Jesus, try and write a book to disprove the resurrection. (laughs) 